<coughs> hello again this time we're going to learn how we can query or how we can modify our query to find you know data that can be there or cannot be there data that may or may not uh, exist now let's have a look at our address book that was uh, you know part of the example set from the book this time the author has actually updated the address book and added for Richard this is you know sim similar to the one we used before but he added a nickname for Richard and added uh, a work telephone number for Craig otherwise the rest of it is exactly the same and what we're going to do is we're going to run a simple query on this and see what happens and the query will look like this that we select first name last name work telephone number where we'll just use S, S for uh, uh, for just for to convenience to keep it short and then we're saying that our result needs to have a first name place it in first a last name place it in last here and a work telephone number place it in work telephone remember when we mentioned uh, the anatomy of, of, of uh, sparkle query and after that we explained the contents of the where uh, uh, graph pattern or the where close we said that these are sort of joined by a logical and sort of the, the and we use for uh, for SQL statements here yeah? so these so what, what this is saying is that my output needs to have a first name and a last name and a work telephone number meaning that if we look at the data set we only expect uh, Craig to be in our result uh, he has a first name last name I'm sorry this individual here or this entry here which has a first name Craig last name Ellis and work telephone number uh, this telephone number. Let's just run the query. I'm sorry, and uh, see what happens. So the query number was 055. I was just experimenting. Let me clear this first. The query number is 55, and as you can see, we'll only get back Craig. Why? Because only Craig has a work telephone number. So what if we want to get back information about this individual and this individual, although they don't have this property? This is where we use the uh, graph pattern optional or the keyword uh, optional and the way to use optional is like this. It's optional so this is how you write it optional of course in a capital case because it's a reserved keyword in Sparkle and it's actually inside where and it has its own curly brackets and it will have its own condition inside it. So what we're saying here is that give me first name, last name and work telephone number again with the question mark in front of variable names and there's only a temporary variable s inside our where inside the where um, clause or the where graph pattern and we're saying that it needs to have a first name place it in first, last name place it in last and then optional s needs to have work telephone number placed in work tell. optional means if it's, if it's there if work tell is there bring it back otherwise leave it empty just to show you the results query number 57 if we run that we expect to get the three of them back with empty result for uh, Richard and Cindy and work telephone number for Craig as we saw here so that's what we get empty for Cindy empty for Richard and it's there for uh, uh, Craig I hope that makes sense actually optional is saying that if it's there bring it back if it's not then do not worry now it's actually even more interesting than that now we can have more than one condition here and they will be exactly the same as these ie exactly the same in the sense that they are joined by sort of imaginary logical and and the proof of this I can say bring me back an individual who has work telephone number and maybe I can copy this maybe and say not only uh, work telephone but I can say maybe for example email yeah and I can say bring me back even the email now Let's save it run it again and then we get back the email now for Mr. Craig yes we get back the email for Mr. Craig but these are empty well what if I uh, tell you that we can actually have more than one optional uh, uh, graph pattern inside our where pattern and the way to do this is just to have it exactly in the same way let's say for example we remove the email from here so we have one optional there for work telephone number and another optional for our email and the, let's execute it and see what happens now notice that the sparkle processor will treat these as two separate optional 
graph patterns or graph or, or, or keywords or statements just run it and see we get exactly the same result but these are op uh, these are totally separate ones uh, I mean we do actually have a, 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 an example here and if we just run this for example here we're saying that give me first name first last work till and nick for an individual who has first name last name and then you know work till if it's there nick if it's there and we expect to have the same thing this is the number 61 I've just modified 57 but 61 is actually doing the same thing that if it's there you know the nick fits there bring it back otherwise don't worry and if, if, if the uh, telephone number is there bring it back otherwise do not worry uh, one more thing to mention about the optional statements or the optional graph patterns is that the the uh, the, uh, the order actually makes a difference the order of them is important this is one, one, one more thing to remember other than that I hope you're not finding it boring sometimes I think this is boring but it's actually a lot of joy in learning it and applying it especially when you see your, your results if you get <laughs> if you get something if you get uh, if you get you know errors and stuff that thing you may probably uh, makes you worry a bit but usually when you get back your results it makes you happy and it tells you you're actually learning you're on the right track again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time